Want to see something cool? It's easy to do your job when everything goes to plan, and that's the lens through which most people perceive the world. The days we justify our paychecks is when shit goes sideways and all hell breaks loose. We spend huge amounts of our training time on things that occupy a tiny fraction of a percent of our work time. Because when the wheels come off, you don't have time to dick around. You gotta deliver. Here's a great example of that. This gentleman has a handshake that'll make you think twice before asking his sister to the prom. He's got a fist like a bunch of bananas and could bench press me with one arm while changing the brake rotors on his truck with the other. He's your average Coopersville farm boy. If he spins that hydrant wrench and snaps the 40-year-old shaft it's grabbing, there isn't enough muscle in his whole crew to get that hose off and screw the cat back on. This hydrant sitting next to a half million gallons of towering water will gladly deliver over a thousand gallons a minute. That's a bathtub in under two and a half seconds, or two nanoseconds if your mom is already in there. By the power of Archimedes! That's why the first thing the fire guys do is hang these gate valves on the outputs. This lets them not only turn the water on and off way faster than if they use the valve inside the hydrant, it lets them do it more easily and safely. If the hydrant valve fails, they just close the gates and leave them there until Public Works comes by in their own good time and replaces the entire hydrant. This is a spectacular example of prior planning preventing piss poor performance because you know this procedure exists by example. Think of how many teams suffered that failure mode before it became something everyone trains for. There's even a valve on the valve on the valve, like they're to make this thing super heterodyne. There's still a ton of pressure on the hose after the valve is closed, and this bleeds that off so the other guy can disconnect it from the truck they just filled. I want to give a shout out and a huge thank you to every fire department in Ottawa County and the surrounding area who all worked together into the small hours last night. It took over 12 hours to get it done. You can see the smoke plume 20 miles away. The logistical miracles that dispatch finagled to get so many crews on site and still keep the community safe are nothing short of astounding. Good job, everyone. You're pretty cool.